Hi guys, Heather here. As some of you may know, I love cardiology. The procedures and all the medications are so fascinating. But how do we know which meds go to which patient? Well, lucky for us nurses, we don't have to prescribe the meds to the patients. But we should know what they do and what happens when you give them to the patients, right? But first I wanna say hi to Dawn. Hi Dawn, and she was wondering about some of those cardiac meds and important things that the nurses should know. So I have a story for you. The other day I had a patient and he had metoprolol and lisinopril scheduled for his blood pressure. His blood pressure was about 130s over 70s and I was thinking, okay, his blood pressure is very acceptable to take these meds, but his heart rate was in the 50s. And I was thinking, well, since metoprolol is like a beta blocker and it lowers the heart rate, it's probably best not to give this one. But lisinopril, it's okay because it doesn't really lower the heart rate. Lisinopril comes from a drug class called ACE inhibitors. So remember when you're studying in nursing school that ACE inhibitors don't really affect the heart rate like the other blood pressure medication does. So, hmm, how do we separate these cardiac meds into their right drug class? Instead of math, English, and science, you have ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, and calcium channel blockers. Well, ACE inhibitors end in PRIL, P-R-I-L, such as lisinopril, enalapril, and benazapril. Beta blockers end in OLOL, O-L-O-L, -L, such as labetalol, metoprolol, and carvedilol. And if your drug does not end in OLOL or PRIL, it might be a calcium channel blocker like cardizem, verapamil, and drugs ending in pine, P-I-N-E, such as amlodipine, also known as Norvasc. That's not so hard, right? But you should also know their trade name and their generic name. In the hospital, when a patient has a high heart rate, the most commonly used drug is cardizem. A lot of times the doctor will order a cardizem drip to help lower the patient's heart rate and then switch them to pill form when their heart rate is closer to normal. I work with a lot of cardiac patients and I started to notice that Coreg was the drug of choice that doctors would order when a patient had congestive heart failure. Usually patients are put on a ACE inhibitor or a beta blocker if they have CHF or have had a heart attack. Digoxin is another commonly used heart bed, and this is used for irregular heart rhythms such as AFib. And with AFib, it's common to go into a rapid heart rate, so this drug helps to keep the rate lower. So before giving this drug, we want to listen to the apical pulse of the heart for a minute and make sure it's above 60. Well, thanks for watching Cardiac Meds 101. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.